Sí. Good morning, Hank. It's Tuesday. We just got off the train from Guangzhou to Shenzhen. We are here visiting more wholesale markets, looking for new products, and we have our sourcing agent with us. Her name's Danny. Let's go have a fun Tuesday. Popped out the cab in the Silicon Valley of China. Whoa! Look at that mall over here. We got a crazy mall over there. We have this crazy big area. We have Mavic Pro ad right there. So DJI, like I said before, their big factory and headquarters is here in these parts. Same, same, but different. Very nice place. Phone store here. They're playing music. That reminds me of Vietnam, how they always bump music outside. I'm a kid. We're in another crazy gadgets market, just literally touring around. It's like tourist slash business at the same time. Another vape place. Not our business. Fidget spinner heaven. This feels like doing product research on Amazon.com or Jungle Scout. It's so easy to get distracted by like, oh, look at this, get distracted. We gotta stay focused on our mission. This is how I'm looking right about now. Strapped to go. Got a wide-angle lens for my snapchatting activities. Link in description. We got a new fake Supreme lanyard so I can hold my phone like this. Also got new power bank because I needed a new one with quick charge 3.0 and a new super strong iPhone cable because I need a new one. So this is what I'm, lo I'm looking like. I need to join the Snapchat army. Send me to war. Make it ready. Okay. Just hit another mall, now we're going into another mall. This place is just crazy. The Osmo Mobile, I had that. We're at a drone shop right now. This is what I really need. Look at this. This is me everywhere I'm going. Too bad I didn't know how to play the computer. Super cool. And this guy plays the drums. Yeah. We got the Mavic Pro, we got the Spark, we got the Pocket. So there's like a new drone every day, man. Oh, we got the fake, fake Mavic. Look at this little mini Mavic Pro copy. Is that copy? Yeah. Oh, I think this might be good product, like this kind, this kind. You think drone is a good product? Whoa, look at these mini, mini drones. Can they fly? No. Yeah, they fly. Also controlled by the remote, right? Yeah, yeah. It comes with these controllers here. <laughs> oh, oh my god, dude. Is this the future? This guy's flying a drone. Oh, it's a car drone. Watch out! Oh! He just flew it through the tree! This guy is an expert! <laughs> okay, this place is ultimate electronics world. No! 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 You didn't just do that. Okay. It's an RC car too. Oh. Oh, 
I want to show the Americans how they how they need to do it. No, Bluetooth is on. Bluetooth is on. Now, oh, now it goes boop. And now you can just take it. So this is solar powered. That's pretty cool. And are any of these motor powered, like electrical, like with no, the, with the motor? No, no need. This is just pedal. You see, you don't need to even. This is not for air. No need air. Oh, this is no air. Oh, it's just pure rubber. Oh, I see. So. So how many years have these? been around in China? I think last, from last year. Just last year? Yes. Yeah. I heard the same yeah, thing. So Larson was telling me that right when he was leaving China, these things were blowing up. Mm -hmm. And he went on like a, a vacation and came back and these were everywhere. Yeah. So what do, what do Chinese people think about this? We love it. You love it? Very convenient. Very convenient, huh? Yeah. It's called that if you're home like where you stay is one stop away one metro or station bus station store away uh -huh. you can use this bike yeah yes this is designed for the for people to live in not nearby the metro or bus station uh-huh yes so yeah people that live far away from the station they can just take this yeah go to the metro station park it yes. and then go to where they work so how do you know how far you can drive? Take this bike like outside the city all the way to Thailand or sure. what? If they can. <laughs> oh, they really? can. They are so energetic. Yes, I'm sure it would be hard to take it outside. So we're talking about the e-bike revolution in China. It's coming to America and maybe Thailand soon. Uh, yeah. I anyways, so. I'm very impressed with the innovation in Thailand, guys. No, in China. Or I mean, I mean China. Yeah. Not in Thailand. Maybe. We're proud to be Chinese. I know. Chinese is so the innovation going on here is crazy. I'm gonna go for a little ride here. This is actually my first. Uh, my first oh, ride here. Yeah. If you fall, it's too low, you can uh, make yeah. it higher. I think I need to raise the seat up. Let me help you. Whoa! I want to let. Yeah, yeah. Woo. This seat can be adjustable. Adjusted. Yeah, I gotta adjust the seat up. So now it's free for anyone. Lunch at the food court here, taking a break. Cox got some dumplings here. Got some noodle soup. We got some fried fish dumplings here. I'm gonna put in some garlic there, some chili, make our sauce here. Yeah. It's very spicy. Very spicy. Yeah. We got some sort of uh, chapati, African chapati omelet, and I also got a fried rice omelet with pineapple and chicken inside. Oh yeah. Body on this. This is African style. Mm. 
Mushroom and pork. Just walking out of the Starbucks and it's already getting dark. Sunset. This is beautiful right here. 